Alrighty, so we're about to make some power move. The first thing we want to do is set up our document. So go to File, New, Document. Okay, now in Document, this window will pop up. Default, we don't have any presets, so you leave that alone. Now you want to make sure you clarify your intent. Now you want to print, web, or digital publishing. So since we're going to be doing a print, let's click on print. Number of page, you can set your pages right here. Okay. Um, you have start pages one. Um, use the primary text frame. I never use this, so I would leave this alone. But facing page is your best friend. So I'm going to leave facing pages on, and I'm going to take it off later and show you the difference on that. Here you have your page sizes, you have your presets, your legal, so whatever you want, you have presets, and also you have custom, so you can do a custom set here. Um, you can go horizontal or vertical, portrait or landscape, either or. Okay. Number of columns, you can do two columns, three columns. I usually like working in two columns, just to get an idea. Your gutter is the the middle piece, and I'll show you what a gutter is once we get to the page. Um, your top margin, okay, it's good. 0.5 inches, 0.5 inches is pretty good. Let's have a bleed, and we're gonna make that bleed two. And now all you gotta do is click on the outside, and it automatically adds it here. The slug, slug is like if you want to specify an area for a customer. To, um, for job information, it doesn't show up, but it's just information for the printer. Um, this gives some guidelines if you want to use spot colors in certain spots. Okay, you have everything set. We're going to hit OK. And here's my page. Here's the gutter that we talked about. Here's your margin, your safety, and then here's another bleed that's outside. Now, if I W allows you to toggle back and forth so you can see the page. Okay. Um, if I press the space bar, it gives me the hand and I can move the page. That is something on the test. Um, you want to also, now let's say you, you, you want to make some changes on the page. Okay. So I can go here. Let's go back to my new and let's go to document setup. In document setup, I can click, click few options or more options. And let's say I want to make it landscape. I can go back and I can make the spread landscape as you can see here. Okay. If I want to hide the guides, I can go to view, guides, hide guides. It's another way too. Okay. View, guides, show guides. Okay. Um, pretty much that's that's it. Setting up your page. Uh, we're gonna close out and move to the next video. I'm gonna set that back before we go out of here. Okay. Document setup. I'm gonna switch it back to layout. Um, now look at this. I'm gonna show you a little. If I say this page, you had to add 20, we would have just add 20 pages here. And let's click OK. And it automatically adds 20 pages ready to go. Okay. All your 20 pages on the side is laid out. But they're facing each other because I'm using facing pages. Okay, this is where your master will be. Okay. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and save. When you save an InDesign, we're going to save this right on this project. Save. And there it is.